this year in particular, I think it means something about who I am and how I'm being heard and being seen because it's the first time since I came to Saskatoon 2011 that I actually see Asian Heritage Month is being recognized and celebrated. And I was part of it as well because I've been kind of organizing the events at the University of Saskatchewan um, to recognize Asian Heritage Month as well. So there's kind of deep sense in me that finally, after living, having lived here in for 10 years, I do have an opportunity to talk about who I am or who my communities are. So it's very special. Um, there's a, some special way Korean people bond with each other. And in Korean language, oftentimes people call it Jung. And Jung in Korean word is a very difficult one to translate into English. Um, it means a certain kind of bond or a sense of, you know, feeling bonded to people. Um, and there's some kind of deep level of connection, even among strangers. So that's something I'm very proud of and also very special for me. New Year's Day, the so Luna New Year's Day. Um, and it's one of the biggest holidays in Korea, um, big family gathering. Everybody takes, you know, take off at work, days off at work. And we usually get together for my family, for example, now at my dad's place, if we are all in Korea. And then we start the morning with special ceremony where um, children bow to the elders in traditional dress. And then Usually the elders give um, words of wisdom or good wishes to the younger ones, often with some kind of, you know, cash in a special kind of, you know, pouch in traditional, you know, uh, fabric. And and then like it's like really big cooking. And in the past, it was also to honor the ancestors. So there was a very special ceremony in the morning to, you know, remember your ancestors and then you share the food and then you kind of go around different relatives' houses to visit them. So it was really big family get together. And when I think of New Year's Day, even when I spend it here, I still have that memory and kind of feel that emotion. So that's really special. Mainly through spirituality, even though people in Korea may not call it spirituality, but the Korean culture, I think Asian culture in general is seen that way, but then it's heavily rooted in some um, spiritual aspect of life or the worldview that you have to understand the world. So people, whether they are aware of it or not, and regardless of the you know, uh, religious background, uh, we believe that there's something beyond the material world and the physical body. So for example, in Korea, like the traditionally Buddhism was very strong, not only as a religion, but it was more of the culture and philosophy and like it's deeply embedded in the culture, right? And then there's, you know, Confucianism and then like recently more Christianity and all these different kind of um religious um, tradition that came to Korea, which um, was transformed in a very unique way to mingle with uh, the existing spiritual tradition. So like at the way I live life, um, the way I look at life and the way I look at myself and people now, um, I just cannot think of it um, disconnected from the sense of spirituality. Thank mm -hmm. you.